The bond with a childhood home, the memories of a painful escape. Alexander Gruzevich lived with his parents at number six Leningradskaya in the town of Chernobyl. When I was a little boy, my mother made a large fire in the hearth. In winter, when it was frosty, the hearth was well warmed. Years later, in the early hours of April 26, 1986, Gruzevich went outside to smoke a cigarette. I saw something like a glow, something like a sunset. It had such a blood-red color. I thought to myself, what a very strange time for such a glow. What sun could be here at this time? The next day, however, we weren't told a thing. Sixteen kilometers away, the scale of the disaster unfolding at the nuclear power station was becoming clear. The order to evacuate Chernobyl came ten days later. Directly downwind, the town of Pripyat housed the workers from the power station. Many watched the fire take hold from the balconies of their apartments. As the radiation leaked out of the burning power station just two kilometers away, the entire population of Pripyat, 55 thousand people was forced to flee. The town is now a disturbing monument to the world's worst nuclear accident. As the buildings slowly crumble, radioactive birch trees are reclaiming the land. In the local school, child-sized gas masks, precautions from the paranoia of the Cold War, litter a classroom floor. Textbooks praise the achievements of the Soviet Union. Amid the desolation, there are startling signs of life. A few hundred mostly elderly evacuees have resettled in the exclusion zone and are quietly tolerated by authorities. Many cultivate their own food, despite warnings that contamination rises rapidly just below the surface. Chernobyl town still houses around 3,000 people who continue to work on decommissioning the plant. They can only stay inside the zone for 14 days. Once a week, Alexander Gruzevich travels from Kiev to work in a hospital in Chernobyl, just a few minutes' walk from his old home. My mother used to say to my father, let's come back, let's come back. But they did not manage to do it. However, about a month after the accident, my father and I came to our old house. It was destroyed. The windows were broken, the doors were open. All our things were stolen. Nothing was left. Scientists say the exclusion zone won't be safely habitable for another 20,000 years. But for some evacuees, Chernobyl remains home, and the urge to return outweighs the invisible dangers that lurk all around. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Chernobyl, Ukraine.